What will be the impacts of US and its allies' containment and blocking policies of economy and technology against China and Russia on the world economy in short and long-term period? It is important to note that the actual outcomes may vary due to the complex and ever-changing nature of global politics and economics. Short-term impacts. 1. Trade disruptions. Blocking policies and containment measures may lead to disruptions in global trade, as countries are forced to reorient their supply chains and find alternative trading partners. This could result in increased costs and reduced efficiency for businesses, impacting global economic growth. 2. Financial market volatility. The implementation of economic sanctions and technology restrictions could lead to increased uncertainty and volatility in financial markets, as investors reassess risk and adjust their portfolios accordingly. 3. Regional instability. Escalating tensions between major powers may contribute to regional instability, particularly in areas such as the South China Sea, Eastern Europe, and the Middle East, where countries have competing interests and territorial disputes. Long-term impacts. Fragmentation of global economy. Containment and blocking policies could lead to a more fragmented global economy, with countries being forced to choose between aligning with the US and its allies or China and Russia. This could result in the formation of separate economic blocks, with less interconnectedness and cooperation on global issues. Technological decoupling. Restrictions on technology transfer and collaboration may result in a bifurcation of technology standards and platforms, with separate ecosystems emerging for the US and its allies on one hand, and China and Russia on the other. This could slow down global innovation and technological progress. Shift in global economic power. Containment and blocking policies could lead to a reorientation of global economic power, with countries in the Asia-Pacific region, Latin America, and Africa playing a more significant role in global trade and investment. In the long run, this could help to diversify and strengthen the global economy, but it may also result in new power dynamics and uncertainties. Overall, containment and blocking policies against China and Russia may have both positive and negative consequences for the world economy in the short and long term. While these measures may help protect the interests of the US and its allies, they could also lead to trade disruptions, financial market volatility, and a more fragmented global economy. The actual impacts will depend on the specific policies implemented, the reactions of affected countries, and the ability of global actors to manage potential crises and conflicts. The US may indeed try to maximize its own benefits by countering any measures taken by China and Russia in response to containment and blocking policies. Some potential strategies the U.S. could employ include 1. Strengthening alliances and partnerships. The U.S. may seek to deepen cooperation with its traditional allies and forge new partnerships with other countries that share its interests and values. This could involve enhancing military, intelligence, and diplomatic collaboration, as well as providing economic and technological support to partners in order to counterbalance the influence of China and Russia. 2. Diversifying trade and investment. To reduce dependence on China and Russia, the U.S. could focus on diversifying its trade and investment relationships with other countries and regions. This may involve promoting bilateral and multilateral trade agreements, and providing incentives for American businesses to invest in new markets. 3. Enhancing domestic competitiveness. The U.S. may focus on boosting its domestic industries and technological capabilities in order to stay ahead of China and Russia in key sectors. This could include investing in research and development, education, and infrastructure, as well as implementing policies to encourage innovation and entrepreneurship. 4. Utilizing international institutions. The U.S. could leverage international institutions, such as the United Nations, World Trade Organization, and International Monetary Fund, to advocate for its interests and promote rules-based order. This may involve pushing for reforms within these institutions to better address the challenges posed by China and Russia. 5. Engaging in dialogue and diplomacy. While maintaining a firm stance on its strategic interests, the U.S. could seek to engage China and Russia in dialogue and diplomacy to manage tensions and prevent conflicts. This may involve participating in multilateral forums and pursuing confidence-building measures, such as arms control agreements and joint military exercises. It is important to note that the effectiveness of these strategies will depend on a variety of factors, including the ability of the U.S. to maintain a unified stance with its allies, the level of cooperation among various international actors, and the evolving geopolitical landscape. Additionally, 
The U.S. must balance its pursuit of national interests with the need to address global challenges that require cooperation with China and Russia, such as climate change, pandemics, and nuclear proliferation. Thanks for watching.